Hey there everyone, welcome back. So I got some bad news. I ended up breaking my hand. So I was skateboarding like I normally do and I ended up falling due to a crack in the ground and I fell onto my fingers and they like twisted sideways and I actually thought I broke my fingers but it turns out I ended up breaking my hand. Surprisingly, it didn't really hurt as bad as I thought it was going to. I heard a snap and a crack, so I definitely knew I broke something. Um, I'm going to explain that I basically broke the two bones in my hand, the middle finger bone there, and the, uh, I guess, the ring finger bone. And as you can tell, my hand's completely swollen up. Um, but I'm going to go through some photos and explain uh, my uh, experience. So I decided to go to the hospital at 10 o'clock at night, and yeah, it took over, I'd say, 10 hours before I was actually seen by a doctor. They took some x-rays, and as you can see here, I ended up breaking the middle finger bone, completely spiral fracture, and then the ring finger, as you can see in this x-ray. The doctor and I decided that he was going to try to attempt to realign my fingers without surgery, so they put me under on some hella drugs, as you can tell by my face in this photo. This is me after all the drugs have worn off. I got another video that I'm going to be posting of me under the influence of these drugs like ketamine, which was insane. So when they put me under to realign my hand, I actually wasn't asleep. I was like wide awake. My eyes were open. I was staring up. Uh, when the doctor came over, he literally looked like a shadow figure with all these squiggly lines and they were all different colors. And yeah, I could feel him lift my arm, tug it, wrap it, and then put it back onto me. But the whole time I'm staring up, everything just kind of like went into line lines and it was just an insane crazy trip the only thing that i didn't like was when they first give like the ketamine or the drugs uh you feel really really weird everything's just kind of go on like all over the place and then all of a sudden he said like you they put the other one in and you like basically feel like you're falling into the the table so you're just kind of like falling back and at a certain point you don't feel yourself breathing you almost feel like you die but you're just sitting there like tripping extremely which is it was just it was scary but also really insane so the actual ring finger was actually put back into place, but sadly the middle finger, as you can see, wasn't completely put back into place. So now I have to go for surgery. I went and saw a plastic surgeon and they said due to the middle finger not being put back into place, they're going to have to operate and they're going to have to either cut my hand open and put pins in it or they're just going to try to put pins or a brace into my hand and it's going to take anywhere from four to six weeks or possibly longer for this completely to heal so i'm basically hooped at this point for doing any skateboarding because the last thing i want to do is land back onto this hand and re-break it or screw it up even more even though uh, chances are I probably wouldn't land on it, but I don't want to take that risk until it's fully healed. And, uh, yeah, so I'm not looking forward to surgery, but this time they said they're going to be putting me completely out under, so I'd be fully asleep, not feeling a thing. And unlike last time where I was still actually awake during the, the actual alignment of my hand, I was just really drugged up, so I just couldn't feel it, and everything was just majorly trippy. So yeah, daily stuff in my life is like super hard. Like the simplest things, like even going to the bathroom or having a shower, uh, depending like on what I have to do. If I need to, you know, use two hands, I'm pretty much, I need help. Uh, if it's one hand activities, then it's fine. Uh, but anything else that in you need two hands it's just yeah it's just literally almost impossible to do so I, I need help to do that and it just really sucks uh that this happened but things happen accidents happen so i guess you know i'm just gonna keep you all updated um when i go for surgery um and how that goes afterwards and uh my recovery process and what really sucks too is uh not only that i can't skateboard um it's literally impossible f almost for me to game because i can't use my fingers to move uh the keyboard and so i have to type with one hand i do have a mouse with buttons on it so i've been trying to you know figure out the buttons so i can actually game a little bit even though it's not the same uh, experience as gaming with two hands so yeah everything so far has been kind of a struggle and it really sucks and you don't really realize till after it happens on what you use your hands for and how you take them for granted. So, 
yeah, now that it's happened and my struggles, I, you know, appreciate my hands a lot more. And it just, you know, it's kind of a wake up call. Um, but at the same time, it was kind of a, a fluke on how I fell and landed with my fingers. Usually I kind of tuck and roll, but it kind of like caught the concrete and then twisted. And like I said, it snapped my bones and, uh, you know, it happens. So I'll just keep you all updated. Just wanted to say thank you all for the love and support. I really do truly appreciate it. And I have another video I'll be posting of when I was at the hospital, when I was filming. I don't know if I actually got the clip of me falling and breaking my hand. I'll have to check. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I'll just keep you all updated. And this could take anywhere from four to six weeks, they said, once I have surgery. And, um, yeah, there's not much I can do other than just hope for a good recovery. And I'll be back to enjoying skateboarding and other things. And, uh, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. Appreciate the love and support. You all have a good one. Take care. Peace out.